Salt shaker plushies are very peculiar creatures. They love nature, but they also love to bring the salt. Salty reminder that this plushie is almost over. Make sure you get yours before the deadline. All the information in the description box below, as well as the pinned comment. Cause when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane. All right, let's be real for just a couple of seconds here. I know that I am the bringer of salt. And the grain of doom. But sometimes it's okay to be sweet. Not all the time, sometimes. Don't get carried away. If you get too sweet, you'll get cavities everywhere. I am very well aware that Salty Crafter is not happy with the situation because we're doing sweets. She's behind me, isn't she? Just get out of my hair! It's just today, okay? I promise. I promise. Shoot. Now that that's out of the way, today we're going to be exploring a sweet factory candy making kit. I kid you not, this kit it's pretty big. It's, let me look at it compared to my head. It's gigantic. It cost me $45. You heard, I spent $45 on a candy science kit. So I have really high expectations. They're not this high. They're about mm, this high. Wait, that's not high, that's wide. This high! So I'm really excited to try it out because I already know how to make gummies. It's pretty much just jello powder, but I'm curious. Is this going to actually teach us something or is it just going to be a crap kit? I have to tell you, my expectations are high, but my cynicism is equally high. Which means, will it work? I don't think so. Are my doubts high? I think so. Will it work? I'm not sure. This is a journey for both you and I to find out together. And as you can see, it does say make your own jelly, sweets, lollipops, and colorful sweets. But in addition to that, if we look on the top right, they say that there's 40 experiments. So it really should be a learning experience. Can you see how much craft kits have hurt me? They always break them up. They just ruin everything. I believe in them, but they just bring me so low, so low. And as we're going around the box, you can see we have gummy bears, we have lollipops, we also have swirly lollipops that this kid is holding. So again, I really hope that most of the ingredients in this box are actually included and not just experience would be like, well now go to the grocery store. I spent $45! $45! Where did this come from? What did you do? Don't make me wave a sharp pointy thing at you, so make sure that you are subscribed and click all notifications while you're there. This came out of nowhere. I have no idea how. Really don't remember picking it up. <laughs> Help. All right, without further delay, let's see what we get inside. Oh, that's an interesting way for a box to open. Drop a plushie. So we get quite a bit of booklets. I'm really hoping. Okay, this one's in French, English, English number two, and French number two. We don't want French today. We also get a batch of stickers. My guess is maybe so that we can seal the candies once we've made them. <gasps> Do we get to make jelly beans? Oh, I love jelly beans. If you grains like jelly beans, let me know what's your favorite flavor. I know this is not popular, but one of my favorite flavors has got to be licorice. Black licorice. I can live off of black licorice. That's, my, that, that's how much I love it. And it's also salty black licorice. Huh, I think I see a pattern here. Yep, salt is the theme. <laughs> In the first tray, here's what we get. They're joking, right? This is not starting well. We're getting a heart mold. Yes, I do see that there's a heart mold over here, but there's also gummy bears a little bit of everywhere on the box. Implying I should have been able to get gummy bear mold. Maybe it's on the other side. 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 Lollipop sticks, ribbons, two measuring cups, straws, a thermostat, I guess. Yeah, a thermometer. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> and in the back of the thermometer, we also have the different temperatures that everything is supposed to be. I guess there's a whole candy section. I didn't know candy could be so scientific. Wait, it is a science kit. Never mind, just scrap that. Pretend I didn't say it. We also have a kind of measuring spoon. It's a weird shape, but I guess I'll take it. It's included. And then some kind of silk green paper, the kinds that you use for gifts or to wrap candy. 
right? And then we have this whole box over here, which I guess is pretty much the candies we can make. And lastly, but also most importantly, importantly. Wow, English, you must cooperate with me today. We need to be friends. We can't just, we, we can't have you flying around like that. English is disrespecting me. Look at it, just fly all over the place like that. One day I will master you. So these are the booklets that should have all the experiments. I haven't looked inside yet, but I swear, actually I can't swear because I can't do anything, it's just empty threats. Let's pretend. If there's no pictures in there to show you and guide you step by step, again, this is still going down the wrong road. This is book number two, and over here we have book number one. All right, looking good, okay. All right, we have pictures, pictures. <gasps> I like that. Oh no, I don't even own one of these things. <sighs> Interestingly enough, they do say that they do have a website with online video presentation of the toy. Just another word to say commercial. So let's go ahead and check it out. Nani? Why do companies make landing pages for their products and their products are still in the market? I just saw it at Toys R Us recently at $24 instead of $45. So it's still being sold and yet the website is gone? Sorry for the inconvenience, they say? You're not sorry enough! Wait, this is supposed to be a sweets kit. Why is all this salt suddenly everywhere? Because I called it. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, website. Ooh, for $45, here are the ingredients we get. Three packs of gelatin, strawberry jello, tutti frutti jello, corn flour, citric acid, and sprinkles. Don't tell me that these items over here can't all be purchased for well under $10. Most of them are at the dollar store. Most of them you can find bulk for really cheap. You can buy molds at the dollar store. Straws, sticks, all from the dollar store. Nerdy, maybe there's a learning experience. Maybe there's a learning experience. Hmm. Let's start with the first one. And so right off the bat, the first recipe is heart 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 shaped jelly molds that was a mouthful and for this one we're going to need our silicone mold and a couple of the other ingredients i'm guessing the ones without lollipops are not included such as icing sugar ask me if i have icing sugar hey jackie do you have icing sugar as a matter of fact the only reason i have icing sugar is because i did a tick recipe video. Other than that, I don't bake. So if it weren't for that video, I'd be stuck on recipe number one. Very infuriating. So according to the instructions, we're going to prepare a bowl and put 10 milliliters of the gelatin, which is one pack, 10 of the flavored jelly. I'll go with tutti frutti just because. And then 60 of the icing sugar. Once that's mixed up, we'll put 15 mils aside in a second bowl for some reason. I'm not sure why, I'm just following instructions. And then step four says add to the second bowl 10 mils of warm water. No. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, this is dangerous. I don't know who did this instruction right here. This is not only potentially dangerous, this can actually harm you. It does say to use warm water from the tap if you want. I'm pretty sure warm or hot tap water is dangerous for you. Let me double check. And yes, using hot tap water for drinking or cooking is a no-no. The Environmental Protection Agency warns that it can push contaminants like lead from your pipes into your water. What the heck is going on with this kit? Like, a lot of things, a lot of things. But wow, obviously whoever did this kit did not do their research properly. So please stay away from warm and hot water from your sink for consumption. Don't do it. No, 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 no. And then we're going to add half a spoon of citric acid. Then we microwave it for 10 seconds and then we fill the silicone mold. Grains, I'm not even going to lie, for some reason, oh, excuse my French, but this legitimately smells like I don't know why putting it in the microwave made it smell so bad. Gross, very gross. Suddenly I'm regretting wanting to have to eat those. If it still smells bad, we'll get to it when I get to it. So now we're going to spoon this into the molds and shove it in the fridge for one to two hours. 
Just to be clear, this was recipe number one, and I learned absolutely nothing. It seems like they clumped up all the information at the beginning, where nobody really pays attention. Instead of putting it in the instructions where they could have exactly said why we're adding citric acid, what's the purpose of gelatin, how does gelatin work, all of these should have been included in the guide. Not just random stuff at the beginning. Let's um, wait and try our sweets that smell like... <laughs> So here we are three hours later. I waited a little longer because I figured, hey, why not have supper at the same time? And it actually doesn't smell like a derriere anymore. Good news. Can't quite put my hand on what it smells like. Maybe tutti frutti, maybe not. All right, let's pop one out and... So as you can see, it is pretty firm, as would be expected if you put any kind of jello mix with extra gelatin. And one last, oh no, it really, I am genuinely, I'm not even joking, I am genuinely scared to eat this right now, simply because it smells like someone's unwashed pants. Oh, I have goosebumps right now. I'm gonna break it in half. Why does it smell like that? Okay, I'm gonna bite into it. I don't wanna do it. Look, I have goosebumps right now. I don't wanna do it. It tastes fine. Holy moly grains, it tastes fine. It's a little sour in terms of like a sour gummy, but I kid you not, it smells like butt, but it tastes like sour candy. Why? This is not stinky tofu. Why? Just don't sniff it. Does it taste fine? Yes, it tastes fine, but the smell just makes me not- I'm throwing it in the trash right now. I don't want to do this anymore. Gross. And the thing is, I'm assuming this is the expiry date, so it's at the end of this month. So we're technically still okay. And now the next thing I want to do is recipe number two, worm-shaped jelly sweets. I know what they're talking about. It's very similar to having pretty much a straw and jello inside. So we're essentially making the same thing, but putting it inside the straw. So as you saw, I did exactly the same steps as the previous one, but this time I'm using the strawberry as opposed to the derriere tutti frutti. One of the downsides of the straws they give us is that there's no little squiggly things, you know, where you bend it, because apparently that's supposed to give us the worm texture but instead we're going to take three straws cut them into three parts each attach them with a rubber band and put them into one of the measuring cups upright and all that's left to do is pretty much to pour the gelatin mixture that we did into the straws i think i'm starting to understand what is it within this whole kit that smells terrible and i'm pretty confident to say that i'm almost 100 sure it's the gelatin that's what smells bad and again, it doesn't expire until next year. So, what's going on? Please, it's so gross. Does this still smell bad? The answer is 100% gross. It's really hard for me to not gag right now. It's so gross. All right, let's put our jelly worms in there. Come on, these straws are not filling up. Goodbye, dreams. Goodbye. So for those of you who want to say, Jakey, you're doing it wrong. The answer is stop it. No, 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 no. Look, the instructions clearly say to put it upright, and I did. They gave us straws that are supposed to be cut by someone who is ages eight and up. Will it be straight? No. So I cut it like a normal person would have by not even thinking twice. And I did put it upright, as you can see, but now it's all wobbly. And I did push it as low as possible into the cup. But nope, 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 nope. Now we get a whole cup of jelly. So I can confirm 100% that their instructions are absolutely flawed. And not just that, again, I'm still not learning anything. Why the straws would leak or how to maintain it upwards. No tricks, no tips, nothing whatsoever. If they really wanted to make this very user-friendly, they would have had us fill the bottom of the cup and then put the straws, let it harden with jelly, and then pour a second batch of jelly in order for it to have nowhere to go but in the straw themselves. But no, that's not what they did. So either way, I'm going to put this in the fridge for one to two hours and then we will revisit it. 24 hours later. Here we are the next day and I'm wearing my plus ultra shirt because that's what these craft kits need now. They just need extra energy. And so by following the instructions, this is what we're getting. Not really many worms. And um, so their instructions are pretty flawed. Well, some of them have it though. And all they said was squeeze it out. Which is not the case. Not the case. 
Oh, that's it. I still don't understand why. It still smells like a strawberry's butt. Very gross. It's gonna taste fine like the previous one, but <coughs> it still smells like strawberry butt. Take a bite. It tastes fine. It's just, it really does stink so badly. So I wouldn't recommend it to anyone who has a sensitive stomach like I do. Just throwing it away, give me a second. Gross. Yeah, the instructions and experiment for this are also absolute trash. So before I throw this entire kit, including myself, in the trash, uh, let's do another recipe, which is a lollipop without a mold. And just to be clear, at this point, even though I've paid the entire full price, which is $24 now, still, I find this kit extremely overpriced. Because already, other than the two Jello recipes that we had, from now on, you need to supply all of your own home materials. So what is the point of this kit? Nothing. Nada. Trash. I mean, not much. Because as you can see here, the only thing I'm going to really be using from this is the corn flour and the measuring cups and the stick. Again, all materials from the dollar store. So now I'm going to take about 100 mils, regular sugar, 25 mils of water, and then they said optionally we can add food coloring and flavoring. I do happen to have mint, so why not use mint? And I do have green food coloring, so I guess why not? Once that's mixed, we're supposed to let the whole solution go up to 150 degrees Celsius and keeping it at that temperature for about one to two minutes. So now we have to work really quickly. I already put in the corn flour. I'm making the dent as they said we should in there. They said we could use a cup or anything else. So since I'm only making one lollipop, let's go ahead and do that because it is already hardening and I just took it out. So let's put the entire thing in here. Let's spoon it down. Oh my God. We get one big lollipop. Oh, that is gonna be a nightmare to clean up, isn't it? Yes, it will. And we're going to put our lollipop stick like so. So now the only thing left to do is let it completely cool down and then we can try it out. Also, by the way, I learned absolutely nothing while making this lollipop. So what's the reaction? What's the point of the corn flour? They don't explain. Here we are the next day. No way in salt were you going to get me to touch any kind of hot sugar because that stuff is dangerously hot. If I'm not mistaken, even Anne Reardon debunked one of the myths in 5 Minute Crafts to show how hot hot sugar can be and how dangerously it can melt through things. So I don't want to melt my tongue. So let's see what our lollipop looks like. So there's corn flour all over it. By the way, corn flour is just cornstarch. So again, you can get this stuff pretty cheap. Spank you. Bad lollipop. What? You've never seen a lollipop being spanked? So here's what it looks like. And um, basically it's ingredients I have at home, except for the cornstarch, which they supplied, which is meh. Smells like sugar and tastes like... Probably should have put more mint. It just tastes like sugar. No flavor. Not bad, but there's no flavor. How about this side? Very powdery. What am I doing with my life? Just licking lollipops from craft kits. This is what my life is. And so I think this kit speaks volumes for itself. In no way is it a kit where I learned anything because they put all the information at the beginning as opposed to during the experiments. 100% goes in the trash. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever tried any candy kits other than the Japanese one where they were scientific and edible that actually worked and actually have actually, 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 that had a kind of benefit or learning activity? I haven't found one so far. They're all so far pretty. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just right for you, make sure you check down here. This week's shoutouts go to Nalita2828, Sweet Muffin Art, Doodly Noodles, KillerFan31, Little White Cub, Butt Whiskers, Cody's Cow, and Kristen Arsov. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.